this area goes through its transformation, it's imperative that it have at least one thread of the fabric that created Auburn Avenue so that it doesn't lose its integrity. If we don't preserve it, then we can't call this the historic district. What are we calling the historic district for, just in name? We have to have something that was from the past that we're preserving in order for this, this to even be considered the historic district. It can't be just the King Center. It can't be just the Apex. The Matter Museum and the WERD Final Record Library is a significant piece of this historical puzzle. WERD, first black owned and operated radio station in North America to create programming specifically for the African American community. There were other stations that had black programming, but they were not black owned and operated. WERD radio, which functioned from 49 to 68, so to have something physical still operating um, under the same call letters, playing the same type of music, and uniquely doing it analog. Everything we do is strictly 45, 78, or 33 and a third. It sort of ties in that history to a period in time. If you think about the Civil Rights Movement, as we know it, couldn't have happened without the efforts of Jesse B. Bladen. Without the station, there would have been no venue for Dr. King to coordinate these movements. On the other side of the vinyl, was Dr. King's office at CLC. The seniors in the area told me, Mr. Reese, that WERD operated upstairs, and when we went past as children, we could hear the music spilling out into the streets. So just knowing that bit of history sort of prompted a creative process that said, why don't I bring the station back directly under its original location and have the music, as it did in the past, spill out on the streets. So the radio station would be from here the window and the speakers would be outside and still pay homage to that legacy that I learned about. And the people in this, in this area still remember WERD. However, young people, the next two and three generations, they have no clue. We cannot allow a legacy like that to, uh, to disappear. I mean, it's, it's, it's artistic genocide.